Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to take a close look at the Philips CDI. In previous videos, we have talked about the system itself and the games and what you can expect from it. But what we didn't cover was the light gun feature because when it comes to light guns, there are so many weird ways to play. And with the CDI, this is no exception. Where we've talked about all kinds of light guns, this is not your typical light gun. Okay, so this thing is complete in box. Mr. Port brought it here to the Wicked Cave. But it is with the light gun games, we have so many different ones to play when it comes to PlayStation, Sega Saturn, a lot of old school classic ones, absolutely nostalgia. The Peacekeeper Revolver 22ER 9020 is not your typical light gun. So when you're looking already on the box, it uses air mouse technology that was unique to the Philips. And if you think about it, it's similar to the technology of the Nintendo Wii with a sensor bar. Yeah, so actually this is not 100% a normal typical, let's say, product that you find with PlayStation. I really love this sticker on it saying that it was 90 gulden. Yep, that was more like a special offer, which is you're going to get a free game or something. Nevertheless, it's pretty damn cool. But then overall, it's very nice to have this one in the box so we can do this unboxing nowadays. Because finding some of these things are pretty damn difficult. But let's take a closer look what are we actually going to get. So in here we're going to get the manual and oh boy and a lot of cable spaghetti. So here we have the manual. It's unfortunate to stain on it but okay. So in the manual itself you don't find a lot of information just to set it up. And what you can see is that this is coming with a sensor bar. Yep, that makes this thing completely different. But let's take a close look at the device itself. So the light gun is quite small in my opinion compared with other ones I've reviewed here on the channel. And of course the spaghetti with the sensor bar. So what I understand of you need to put the sensor bar on top of your television and that's basically how you connect it. So the cable goes straight into the CDI player and depending of the game we're going to need it in port 1 or port number 2. So far I can see the product is even made in the US. So for a Dutch developed product where the system sometimes even be made in Belgium, this product came all the way from or to made in USA. The overall quality of the light gun, I find it a quite slim model and I'd already noticed like this thing is completely made Philips CDI, Airmos technology. But when it is, when it comes to the grip itself, I must say it does feel very nice. At the bottom they implemented some grips here and at the side we're going to get two extra buttons. One for on and off seems to be another one for I'm guessing selecting something in the game itself. But let's take a close look at the micro switch. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Let's start off with a classic one, the Thunder in Paradise with Hulk Hogan. Oh boy, that is some really some old school stuff. So this game even come in a duo disc configuration. But what's interesting, this is more like a video you're watching and you can actually play. We did try this particular like tiny game that you can play beside the video that we're going to find on the discs. Yeah, and I'm just going to be honest, when you're looking at some of these, like say tiny games on here, they're not that special to be honest. Did a great job. The interactive show turned out fantastic. Come on over here, let me show you what's going down. Yo, Chubster, Soupster! looking back at this particular game and yep this is maybe a mini game or something that is with the disc itself I do realize that it is not really that special it's kind of boring to be honest the airmost technology works quite accurate and I think that is a very cool way to play but it's also a different way with the Corsair you're just going to get actually an airmost technology that we have seen before now <laughs> CDI was basically one of those systems that a very nice encoder that you can buy or was built in. And with Crime Patrol and Video Motion, you do have a very different experience. But I can tell you where these games are pretty damn cool to play nowadays. They are absolutely unforgivable. Like to the milliseconds, you need to click on the character to shoot. If you're missing it, you're done. Oh, 
ben je niet. Ben ik zo snel van mijn kogels af? Kom maar op. Ik heb toch gewoon bullet. Want ik probeer even een beetje. Ja, dat gaat wel makkelijker. Only downside I noticed with the CDI, actually when you're progressing into the game you can just hear the audio stop for a couple of seconds. But let's take a close look at some other weird wicked games, for example Mad Dog 2, The Lost Gold, yep, another basically like video based shooter game. And I can tell you this particular game got some very cool intros, but it's another like say unforgettable game when it comes to the overall, let's say speed you need to click on things. So the first thing we needed to do is calibrate the light gun. Quite interesting that this is the first game actually asks from the beginning and we can even hide or show the cursor if you just want to have more like a light gun experience. And from the main menu you can just start the game and even make a save. You blew that one. Shoot that skull, it's strong. Good shot. Put a bullet in that son! This is the map to the gold. The Padre has the other half. Watch out for mad dog. So when it comes to different light guns, the CDI is a very strange one. I'm not the biggest fan, just gonna be honest with those like say motion video things. They're kind of funny to be honest, but they're absolutely unforgivable when it comes to the way how you need to play them and how difficult they are. Thank you all for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, and it would be great to see you in the next video.